Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another video on the channel. A bit of a quickie here for Odd Takes 9, and there's a couple of things that's been happening around the league as of late, and I thought I'd speak on it, so first up, James Seguiaro was handed a 20 month ban, so the suspension got backdated to when he was first pinged for testing positive, which was back in September 2019, which makes him eligible to play in the league this year. I believe May would be the 20 month mark, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Whether or not we'll see him return to the league remains to be seen. Do I want to see him back in the league? Of course. When he's performing well, he's exciting to watch. Emphasis on when. Especially with the new rule change, I think. The way the game's been playing right now, especially the pace of the game, it's primed for specialist hookers to thrive. So where will he land? Honestly, it's anyone's guess. I mean, who needs a hooker? Some people have taken to Twitter to give suggestions, one of them being the big OG, Willie Mason. So let's see what he had to say. A club who needs a veteran hooker who has a point to prove and you can get very cheap should be trying to sign James Seguiaro. He's going to be a man on a mission. I'm talking to you and then he adds the NRL Bulldogs and uh, Seguiaro himself. Give the man a chance at NRL. I can't even name the nine for the dogs. First of all, but his name's Jeremy Marshall Smith. I mean, King. F <laughs> Joking aside, the dogs are a good look. Whether the starting nine or on the bench, Mason does make some good points with uh, Seguiaro having a point to prove and whatnot. He would be cheap, and I doubt he'll settle for anything outside of the league. And the NRL does love a comeback story, so moving along. Corey Norman's punishment got handed down to him after being involved in an altercation. This was a few weeks back. If you didn't hear about it, basically what happened was Norman and Siggy Arrow were out one night with a couple of Sheilas. They run into a group of four drop kicks. The four boys start provoking Norman and Siggy Arrow and eventually they start saying racist slurs towards uh, Siggy Arrow and eventually a fight breaks out. So the punishment for being involved in that for Corey Norman, he will be fined 20 K, he'll also be missing the first round of the 2021 season. I reckon it's a bit harsh of a uh, punishment. He essentially got fined 20k and suspended from work for basically sticking up for his mate. So the NRL integrity unit is saying that Norman brought the game into disrepute, which basically means Norman made the game look bad in the public eye. And I've got a quote here from the NRL chief executive Andrew Abdo. We accept there was a degree of provocation which led to the incident, but as a game we have been very clear that provocation is not an excuse to engage in a street fight. Pretty much saying that Norman should have turned the other cheek. Now I don't know about you, but if I'm out with a friend or if I'm out with family, which I assume Norman considers Seguiaro, and a group of dropkicks are yelling racial slurs to my face. Now I'm talking about myself, not saying what you should do. Someone's getting taught a lesson. I get what the integrity unit are trying to say, but their decision to suspend him and fine him for defending his mates after being racially abused is an even worse look on the league than Norman actually being involved in the brawl. In my opinion, if anything, this opens the door for more flops to test the patience of other players while out in public. Like I said, I didn't really agree with that decision. I am interested though to hear what you guys think of this particular subject. One player that I did see speak out publicly about this is Alex. Glenn. Throughout this topic, I'll show you guys what he said, so you might have to pause it and read it because it is pretty lengthy. That's what she said. But we'll move along here. In GOAT news, Cameron Smith is still torturing journos. He still hasn't announced who he'll be playing for in the upcoming season, and I love it. At this point, everyone's speculating that it's the Titans. I think that it's the Titans. And he was recently at a Titans feeder game, so that means absolutely nothing. A new horse has entered the race, and it is the Brisbane Broncos again. All speculation. They just pretty much said that they'll be interested in having Smith at the club. Yeah, no sh <laughs> Sherlock. In other news, the sky is blue. I mean, if there's any man in the league that can turn the Broncos around, it's 100% Cameron Smith. Again, I don't think he'll go there. Just purely based off his history with the Broncos. I think we'll wrap it up there, boys. That's pretty much been the rumblings around the league that have me interested at least. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to run it straight at that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, 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 you. Later.